The Rishi Yokohama Yamashita Koen Apartment Building, Unit Number 203, is located within a three-minute walk of Nihon Odori Station on the Minato Mirai Line. This apartment is also in Yamashita Cho, which offers great access to Chinatown and the parks of Minato Mirai, in addition to the famous Yamashita Koen Park on the waterfront. This is a 10-story apartment building with about 150 units altogether. There are a total of two elevators that are available for the tenants in this building. The entrance to the apartment itself includes a small foyer where you can store bicycles or baby carriage or some small items as long as they don't cause trouble with the neighbors. Immediately upon entering the apartment there is a closet for your shoes and a gangkan where you can take your shoes off and enter the apartment without wearing any shoes. As we leave the gangkan area and walk towards the living room you can see that there is a bedroom on the left, cabinets on the right, washroom and bathroom and lavatory and finally we can enter into the living room where we can see the Japanese tatami mat room and the kitchen. From the entrance we'll make a quick left and enter the first bedroom. This bedroom has one window. It can accommodate an air conditioning unit. There are two outlets. On one corner, the outlets have two plugs, hookup for internet and cable TV port. On the opposite wall, two plugs for the outlet. The closet space is rather unique. The closets can be accessed from both within the bedroom and also from within the hallway. As we exit the first bedroom, we'll go into the second bedroom, which is on the right side of the hallway. This bedroom is also six tatami mats in size. This bedroom, however, includes a walk-in closet and two windows. Unfortunately, both windows do not offer any kind of view that's appreciable. The walk-in closet has lots of storage space, both above the rails and below the rails. The view outside the windows is not very good. You only have views of the buildings. In addition, the balcony for this bedroom has a large net to keep birds out. Regardless, there are still quite a few bird droppings on the balcony. There are two outlets in this room. One has two plugs, a cable TV port, and a jack for connecting to the internet or a telephone. So let's leave the bedroom and let's head over to the washroom and the bathroom. The washroom includes a space for a washing machine using cold water only. There's a storage shelf above the washing machine and there's a cabinet space to the left of the washing machine. The vanity includes a full-size mirror, a little bit of counter space to the right side of the wash basin, and storage space below the sink. There's also a small chair that pulls out that also includes storage space. The bathroom is a very typical Japanese style. You have a bathtub with an automated water heating function. 
It will also fill up the bathtub to a set level and can be reheated using the remote control here. To the right of the bathtub is washing space. This is very typical for a Japanese apartment. As we exit the washroom, we can head over across the hall to the lavatory. Lavatory includes cabinet space above the toilet. The toilet includes a heated seat and bidet. There's a little wash basin next to the toilet with storage space below the basin. Now we'll head into the living room slash dining room space. From here you can see that there is a Japanese style tatami mat room that includes paper sliding doors and paper sliding blinders on the window. As you can see the view from the window is nothing special. This room is equal to 4.5 tatami mats. The storage space in this room is very typical for a Japanese style room. There is lots of storage space to accommodate Japanese futons or bedding that is used for sleeping on the floor. Next to the storage space for futons, there's a large cabinet space built into the wall for additional storage. The Japanese style room can also be closed off from the living room using the sliding paper doors. Within the tatami mat room, there are two outlets on either side of the wall. Both have plugs, a jack for TV port and internet connection. In the living room, as you go towards the exterior wall, there's a small space that can be used for a study or a sunroom. It can be closed with two doors that have glass that allows light to enter into the rest of the space with openings both above and below the glass to allow air circulation for heating and cooling purposes. When the windows are open, noise from the street is a little bit loud, especially if a motorcycle or truck drives by. Here in the afternoon, it would be noisier than usual. Evenings would be quite nice. If you close the sliding doors to the balcony and the window in the small room, it's relatively quiet and in the afternoon you can still hear a little bit of motor sounds from motorcycles or large trucks. Again, the view from the window on the far side of the wall is nothing special. The living room includes two outlets with plugs and jacks for the internet and cable TV. The kitchen is a little bit small, but has a nice U-shape to it with lots of counter space. The remote control here on the wall controls hot water temperature for both the kitchen, the washroom, and the bathroom. There are ceiling mounted cabinets offering lots of storage space for the kitchen. To the left of the stove is another counter with storage space both below the counter and above the counter. In addition, there is a small storage space for two trash cans and above the counter there is a cabinet with glass doors.
Next to the counter, there's a large space for the refrigerator. Since it has a kind of open design, any size of refrigerator would easily fit. The kitchen sink also includes a disposer. Here on the balcony, there are two arms that can stick out where you would hang your laundry. Here in Japan, the laundry is typically dried out on the balcony. Here we have a view of the street below from the balcony. The apartment can accommodate a maximum of three air conditioners. Here you can see the plug outlet for the third air conditioner, which would go into the living room space. Next to the apartment building is a Gyomu Suba store. This is basically a low cost bulk type grocery store for many of the shops in the local area. But individuals can shop here as well. Prices are very low and you can buy uh, a number of items in large bulk. Down the street there is a My Basket Eon supermarket. Prices are very cheap. The vegetables and fruits are very fresh. In addition, they also offer various items for use in daily life. And as you can tell here, the apartment is located right next to Chinatown, one of the most famous attractions here in Yokohama. <laughs> <laughs>